Buffs. This is Logan uh, today we're reviewing Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Uh, so many of you might not know this movie is based on a book by the same name. Um, also there's another book also called uh, Pride, Prejudice and Zombies. So basically that movie will be made if Abraham Lincoln versus Vampire uh, Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunters gets uh, a successful opening and makes a good amount of money. If not, basically it will not get made. But uh, this movie was pretty awesome. It's uh, produced by Tim Burton, uh, Timur Bekmantov, uh, who did uh, Wanted. And uh, for you guys who uh, watch Ford movies, he did uh, The Night Watch and uh, Day Watch, basically it's part one and two. Uh, it's a vampire movie as well. Rumor has it there might be a third one uh, that hasn't happened yet. Still waiting upon that. Uh, those two are really good movies. Check those out. Um, he's also the one that was uh, behind the producing team of uh, Nine and uh, Tim Burton as well. So they got together again. He directed this one as well. Uh, cinematography, special effects were definitely amazing. It's definitely nothing short but uh, amazing. If you see Wanted, you'll see same, some of the same stuff there. They have some pretty cool action sequences. Uh, it's a pretty good story. Uh, they had pretty good actors. They had uh, Mary Elizabeth Winston who played uh, Mary Todd, the Abraham Lincoln's wife. They had Anthony uh, Mackie who played uh, Abraham Lincoln's uh, childhood friend uh, who grows up to be uh, another friend of his. Uh, uh, Dominic Cooper who played uh, Tony Stark's father in uh, Captain America. And uh, he was in this one. He was also in uh, The Devil's Double. And uh, here's a uh, performance that was pretty amazing. So uh, he's getting around, he's getting uh, a lot of more roles. The performance, this one was really good. The story is pretty simple, basically. Uh, there are vampires out there and they're living secret. And basically, Abraham Lincoln, uh, when he's a kid, stands up for a colored kid. And not knowing that the guy that they uh, stood up against, his father protected him against, was a vampire. He comes in the middle of the night, bites his mom, she dies. So he had no idea what had happened, but he knew who the guy did. And so he goes after him when he gets older. And when he realized after that what it was, he ends up going into the vampire killing business. So basically, it's a really good movie. Uh, the action, like I said, is amazing. They had uh, amazing fight sequence between him and uh, the vampire in the midst of uh, horses just running along. And they're jumping from horse to horse. Now, of course, it's Basically, it's a very heavy CGI movie, and that's what was very heavily done in CGI. Um, it looks pretty cool visually, it's amazing, but of course you could tell, oh, it's fake. And, uh, but all in all, it was a pretty cool fight sequence. Um, it could have been, you know, better uh, for special effects wise, but other than that, it was a pretty awesome uh, scene. Um, Abraham Lincoln used an uh, axe as his choice of weapon, and uh, over the years, you know, you know, follows him into presidency. So basically, it takes very much a lot of liberties with the uh, history, but it takes a lot of key events in uh, history and keeps it in there with a little twist to it. And uh, it's a very good imaginative uh, story writing and definitely gives you something to watch and go, wow, this is uh, it's pretty cool on how they took a span of history and it, uh, fabricated all this and make it uh, one solid story. So basically, the, the writer who wrote the book was very imaginative on how he did this and he... He weaved a really good story having uh, vampires and uh, having this whole thing spill over and basically say, you know, hey, government covered up vampires and all that. It was very well done. Um, the whole visuals of him becoming a vampire, like the actor who played him, uh, I don't know if they used uh, makeup, but it looks like he had like prosthetics over his face to make him look more like Abraham Lincoln. And when he gets older, he does look like Abraham Lincoln with a lot more prosthetics added on. So I'm not 100% sure, but it looks like that's what they did. Uh, it's definitely worth checking out. I saw it in 3D. 3Ds were pretty awesome uh, in this movie. They had a lot of cool slow motion uh, action sequences that if you played Max Payne or any other game, where they had a lot of uh, sequences where it slowed down right where the special action moment happened. They had that happen in this as well. Just like if you've seen in uh, Sherlock Holmes. So basically they uh, have a lot of that and it's pretty awesome how they add it all together. So basically check it out. Uh, it's a very good story. A lot of good actors in the movie. Um, I don't think it's going to be that successful. It, it caters to a very select few of people. But it's definitely worth checking out uh, your time. If you're not into the 3D, don't worry, you don't have to check it out. It's still good to see it in 2D. Also, um, check out the book. I hear the book is amazing. Uh, so check out the book as well. 
Uh, if you have not checked it out, I'm going to check it out myself since I have not seen, I read the book. Uh, after I seen the movie, I was like, you know, I should check out the book and see how it is. How different is, of course, there's going to be different things different. So I'm going to check it out myself and see how that is. Uh, so take, take, uh, take time to check it out if you're into vampire movies. You'll love it. If you're a history buff, you might like this one as well, especially with a little twist on it. Uh, go out there and check it out. Uh, next film we're reviewing is uh, upcoming movies and uh, other his movie news and uh, comic news as well. And uh, also gaming news as uh, consoles as well. And then we, next week, uh, actually not next week, the week after next, July 3rd, I'll be seeing uh, Spider-Man, so on 4th of July, I'll be uh, posting up a uh, video for uh, the Amazing Spider-Man uh, review. Uh, right, review on that and more to come. Uh,